Hello and good morning to all. I am super glad that our Heavenly Father has woken you up all on today for another chance to praise Him and to do His will. Well, you know what time it is, the word for today. And the word is, have nothing of Satan in you. See, in John chapter 14 verse 30 says, Hereafter I will not talk much with you, for the prince of this world cometh, and have nothing in me. Let me explain something to you. It's very easy for Satan to use people in whom he deposits something of himself. For example, selfishness or greed. Anyone who is selfish isn't walking in the love of God. Love rules over selfishness. God's love is gracious. Selfishness in the heart is an invitation to satanic influence, for Satan is the author of selfishness. This is why you must excuse selfishness and creed and other traits that are consistent with Satan's nature. Don't allow Satan to have any of his traits in you. Jesus said, the prince of this world cometh and have nothing in me. Satan had nothing in Jesus. There was nothing Satan could lay claims to or which it could influence in Jesus. That's the way it should be for you and I. Satan should not find anything in you that attracts him to you or that he can use to promote his agenda. It's the reason you must walk in love at all times. Love is the antidote of selfishness and creed. Then also speak the truth always. Don't have to lie. See in Proverbs chapter 6 verse 16 through 19, highlights traits that are consistent with Satan's nature that you must askew. It says, These six things do with the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him, a proud look, a lying tongue, and hands that shed innocent blood, and heart that devise wicked imaginations, feet that be swift and run into mischief, a false witness that speaketh lies, and he that soweth discord among brethren. See, the Bible says, give no place to the devil. So don't give no place to the devil. Don't permit or give vent to any of his traits in your life. Walk in God's light. His word and everything of Satan and darkness will be repelled from you. Well, just to know, it ain't just for you, but it's for me too. And I hope this encourage you, my brothers and sisters in Christ, to examine yourself, to make sure you have nothing of Satan in you that he can't claim or influence you to do that is not pleasing unto our heavenly father and i share this message because i love you and so do god until next time you all be blessed now